Alright everybody, what is going on? How are you all doing? We are finally back with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. I wanted to start this series back up on my channel. Uh, I've really been in the mood to play some more MMOs lately, uh, and I just I really enjoyed my time with Final Fantasy XIV uh, when I first started playing it, so uh, I restarted my subscription on it, and we're not going to let that play. We don't need it, but uh, I... I had a lot of fun when I played it the very first time around, and I've been wanting to get back into some more MMOs. So I am going to be playing this game again, and I'm going to start it up on my channel. I kind of want it to be a continuous thing, and I want to do some live streaming on it. And on this series, I do have a webcam. I do want to do some face cam stuff with this series. Um, I kind of want to do some more webcam stuff on my channel. Not on everything. I don't think it's really a good idea to do it on everything. But I think this game would be a good one to do a webcam series on. Uh, so I ordered something that should hopefully allow me to do that. I already have a webcam. I just need to be able to get all this stuff plugged in uh, in order to actually do it. Because I only have so many USB ports. So, uh, But uh, I'll get to that uh, hopefully in the next session of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new character. Uh, because there's something I want to try. Uh, if you guys remembered on the first... On the other videos I did of this game, I had a character, uh, this guy right here, Vash Hunt, he's, uh, level 15, uh, but I figured this out, uh, there's a, there's now a rogue class in this game that you can get to, uh, at, uh, at level 10, I believe, you can get a secondary class, uh, or I guess it's not really a secondary class, but you can unlock the rogue class, and that's a class I, I want to get that class and I want to concentrate on that class, but you have to get to level 10 first. And you have to go to the, uh, Limsa Laminensa, or Limsa Laminsa, or whatever it's called. Uh, and you have to go to that location in order to, uh, in order to unlock that class. So that's the class I want to play, is I want to get to Rogue. But you have to get to level 10 first, and you have to go to that place. So I'm going to actually start a new character, and, uh, I play on the server Famfreet, for those of you who wanted to know. But uh, I'm going to create a new character, and I think I'm going to be one of these guys. I'm not even going to try and pronounce them, but I think I'm going to play as one of them. And I'm just going to kind of breeze through this. Um, I'm going to be a Seeker of the Sun. I want to be, like, super tall. We'll keep the skin color. The tail. Uh, we'll have... We'll keep the default tail. And I want to have a long-ass tail. Now, as far as hair goes, I kind of like that hair. And we're going to make it black. That face is fine. Jaw, yeah, iris. Eye color. We are going to change the eye color. Ladies like the blue eyes. So we're going to go blue eyes. We'll keep the eyebrows, nose, mouth, lip. Uh, I do want to have some chin hair. Uh, and we'll have the mark across the eye. And, uh, my allergies are going crazy. It's been pretty cold outside, so you may hear me sniffle slightly. Uh, again, I try to get that stuff out as much as possible, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, so we'll just get that out of the way. Uh, get the voice out of the way. Confirm. I am okay with that. And we're just gonna have it there. And then select your character's date of birth. I'm not really sure what this exactly impacts on the game, uh, to be honest with you, but uh, I'm just going to pick the 30th because my birthday happens to fall on the 30th. And uh, I think, because let's see, uh, Goddess of War, Goddess of Love, I think I want to be this one. Uh, it's a goddess of inquiry, which, uh, you know, whatever. And she is uh, depicted as a noble lady holding a golden fan. I imagine that in my head, and it looks pretty sweet. So, uh, apparently, and from what I read, and I'll actually, uh, I will actually go and uh, look on this uh, page here, because I was actually, I heard there was a rogue class, so I kind of looked into it a little bit, because I saw that you can't pick it here, uh, which I thought was a little weird, 
But, uh, let's see. From what it says, and I'm just, I looked it up, and from what it says, it says pretty much you can't start as a rogue. Uh, you have to start as a different class and get it past level 10 to be able to change classes. And then there's some people that are saying, like, to start as a pugilist, which is these, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat types. Uh, oh, I forgot about the, I was hitting the touchpad. My bad. Um, but saying, uh, there were, I think there were a couple posts saying I should pick the pugilist since it's a subclass for ninja. Um, it says I'll need it at level 15. Uh, but then there's other ones that say, like, uh, because in order to get to the rogue clan, you have to start off in, uh, the this city, the Limsa Laminsa. Uh, so there's another post here that says to, uh, to choose Marauder or Arcanist. So you can spawn in this town, and, uh, da 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 I think there's another post saying... And there's another one that recommends Pugilist. Things you got. I got two here saying Pugilist. Um, and then there's one saying either Marauder or Arcanus so you can spawn in the city that's required. Um, that's pretty much all that post says. I, I kind of want to see if... I just kind of want to see what uh, what some other places say, but it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of like stuff for me to really look at here, as far as that goes. Uh, I'm looking on my phone right now, which is almost dead. Um, but actually, here's one by uh, Kotaku. Alright, so here we go. Uh, da -da -da. Rogues and Ninja. Okay. So apparently it came in patch 2.4. Uh, so... That's pretty much all it says, so I really don't know if I should choose, like, a Pugilist or, uh... One of them said an Arcanist, which... These guys, they hold books and stuff. Um... I kinda wonder which one would be... best for that, anyway. Let's see what Arcanists do. They, uh... And, uh... Well, grimoires, these symbols, and shape the Arcanist Aether, thereby allowing him to produce myriad powerful spells using the... Uh, to unlock latent power contained within gemstones, Arcanists are also able to summon forth the familiar known as Carbuncle to carry out their bidding. Um, so I really, honestly, do not know. Um, it's kind of just something I really don't know what I should do, to be honest. Um, I don't really know why, like, there's some people saying to get the Pugilist to level 15 so you don't have to do it later. Um, I don't know why that would matter, to be honest. Um, maybe they have similar stat types or something. Um, see here. I went back for another 
episode. In this episode, I'm going to be unlocking Rogue. So you need to come to A16 in Lower Lands of Amenza right here and talk to Lon Wold. And we can see how this starts. So let's see. So there's no behind these convent doors for a worldly type like you, Mrs. Where the dutiful sisters of the Eldwiss, they're all pure and saintly like um, now bugger off <laughs> uh, hang about ain't you that lass that goes by the name of Mifri? Yep. so hey I knew it something about million primals leaves this mark on a person it does anyway you've been you being who you are you must be have an inkling as to what goes on here the Admiral sent you to meet with one of me associates after that business with Leviathan, if you recall. That's right, lass. You stand at the entrance to the Rogue's Guild. Of course, it would be... <clears throat> Alright guys, so what I ultimately decided to go with was Arcanist. Um, Mainly because it's a, it's a class that I don't typically choose in a lot of other games. I usually don't choose like a spellcaster or a mage or anything like that. Uh, so I thought it'd be interesting to try something different. And the main reason I chose this one is because it it starts you off in the main city that you pretty much need to be in where the rogue uh, class starts in. And I know it doesn't really matter because eventually I guess you get the uh, pretty much the the error pass or whatever to take the aircraft or whatever to the next city to where you can actually get there to go to the rogue guild or whatever but um, I'd rather just start off there and all that so I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do an arcanist so I can spawn in that area and not have to worry about it later so uh, we're going to specify a name it looks like so I kind of want to do something along the same lines. Uh, again, I got Trigun in my head, so uh, I'm gonna let's try. Uh, I, I love Trigun, and it's just in my head when I think of this. So uh, I don't know. Will Vash Stampede work? Probably not. Someone probably took it, but you know what? Let's let, let's see if it'll work. Oh, it cannot be used. Okay, uh... Let's try... Whoops. Typhoon. Oh, fuck. No! Oh, there we go. It's kind of getting some used to. Alright, so let's try... Typhoon again. Bash Typhoon. Motherfuckers! Alright, uh... I was trying to think of something else. Uh... I don't know. Trigon related. <laughs> just because just that's what I have stuck in my head. Um... I don't know, maybe we need to go with something... I don't know. I don't know exactly how it's spelt. I believe it might have an E in there or something. 
maybe. Probably not, but let's try Vash Wolfwood. Alright, that worked. Honestly, I'm not surprised that worked. I will probably put this series in its own playlist, even though I did kind of uh, start this game before, but uh, I kind of want to start this one completely new and uh, make a new playlist for it. I want to do some live streaming with this as well. I want to do some more live streaming uh, this year. Just be a lot more fun, and this scene cannot be skipped, so we'll just play through it, even though there's no real need to watch it. Here. Here. Feel. Looks like this scene does start a little differently from the <clears throat> the one from last time. Probably because we're going to a different city, but it's the same guy. The same dude at the beginning. Uh, you're moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides rolling in the ship. Uh, Stop turning has it. I don't really feel like reading all that, to be honest. Hmm, don't seem like seasickness, now that I look at you. I'll be the... Or, it'll be the eighth of them, I reckon. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others. Seeing we ain't too far from... Meh. That, I don't even want to pronounce half the stuff, so I'm just gonna say everything is meh. Which is chock full of aetherites. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Yeah, might as well have been bloomin' seasickness. Ship sleeping around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck, get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Laminsa is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering, seeing as you're awake and all. How's about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Looks like they're trying to sleep, dude. Any road? Brennan's the name, and Pedlin's me trade. Well, thanks for telling me. I didn't really ask, but, uh... Hey, wherever floats your boat, dude. That's a pretty cool-looking ship. Ah, smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of them new adventures. 
Am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. As long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Ooh, why did you become an adventurer? To amass a fortune to win glory. I'm gonna say power. Power? As in a power to do good? Like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that? Aye, I thought that's what you meant. Well, adventurers do get to a lot of fighting, that's for sure. We'll never be short of a chance to polish your Warcraft in the adventure business. Once we make port, you'd best sign yourself up at the Adventurers Guild. They'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join a guild, neither. Limza is home to a few, so if you fancy learning how to swing an axe or even sling a spell, you should think about seeking one out. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Ships off the starboard bow. Pirate colors. What, black? Those ships look like pretty much all black. Pirates? Bloody hills. Have you no sense? Get below. What is the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship flying laments in colors? Bastards either have a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. You can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of cannon range. And no buccaneer's bark will catch this flighty temptress out of winds in her sails. I was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept his head in it on his shoulders. I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? By the by, is this your first trip to Limza Laminsa? I'm gonna hate saying that. It is? Well then let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. <clears throat> Limza Laminsa prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civilian influence? Whatever. The city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once a rum swilling buccaneer herself. Of course, most folk ain't so quick to change. And with a town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if it weren't bad enough, I've heard that Sahagan are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. There are the sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks, in case you didn't know. Ah, at long last. Land ho! Behold, Limsa Limsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of meh, goddess of navigation. <clears throat> like I said, any name I can't pronounce is just gonna be meh.
on a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Rotano Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? And here's where we part ways, son. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By the way, a thanks for saving me arse earlier. I didn't even save you, dude. But hey, thanks anyway. I'll take it. Here, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. Final Fantasy XIV. Hey, you there. <clears throat> Whoa, dude, bright-ass jacket. Ah, I mean you. This is my district, and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Hey, you watch your fucking mouth there, guy. Call me scum. Ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow well, one of Limsa Lamensa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad. I haven't got all day. This dude's kind of being an asshat. I don't really like the way he's talking to me. Vash Wolfwood. I like it. Welcome to Limsa Lamensa, a bustling city-state filled with scoundrels and brig brigands. The rough-cut diamond of the Rotano Sea. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Uh, I probably, you know I probably need to go ahead and get like a a mouse and keyboard for this because it'd probably be so much easier in a lot of aspects but right now just using a controller basic controls uh, yada 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 alright follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of the camera when you are ready to proceed speak to meh yeah. 